What's up, brethren? So, I will be going through six parks in this video, and I'm going to be telling you what coaster would fit the park the best. Not necessarily what I want them to get, but what would be smart and what would fit their lineup and what would really make their lineup just round it out. So, for Hershey Park, I would say Dive Coaster. Now, I would like to see RMC Wildcat, but they already got a standout attraction, Sky Rush. They're getting a B&M Hyper and Storm Runner they have. So, um, and Fahrenheit and a couple others good coasters. So a dive coaster would be really good. It would attract the GP. And uh, I think this would be better for the park. Uh, even though I'd like to see RMC. But yeah, dive coaster in my opinion, would fit well there. So, for Dollywood, I would see an Intamin Blitz. And, um, some notable ones are Taiga Maverick, Terran, and Cheetah Hunt. Um, and Ice Speed. We'll just say those for now. Uh, but they're all great coasters. I think that would fit Dollywood really well. Um, I could also see, like, uh, b &M Hyper, or even Giga going there, but I would, this would be better, going through the trees, um, uh, that would work definitely better than a Hyper Giga would, but, yeah, it's more low to the ground, and it would really interact with the terrain, really good. So, SeaWorld San Diego, I'd like to see a B&M Hyper Coaster go there, uh, it would really fit them well, they've got, uh, We've got some great coasters there. They have Manta, which is a Mac family coaster, I guess. I'll probably call it Thrill, not Extreme, um, by the way it looks. Um, Electric Eel looks pretty good. I mean, it's just a Premier Skyrock 2. And they're getting Mako, the B&M Dive, for 2020. And I think after Mako, this will be a really good addition to the park. It's a needed addition. Um, it would really get the park some attention. For Cedar Point, I see a Max spinning coaster, being a flyer. Uh, I'd like to see it. I think I would see like time traveler type Max spinner, but one that would break world records, obviously, because it's Cedar Point, and they haven't broken a world record since Maverick. And then being on flyer, probably the tallest being on flyer or something, um, probably would fit the park better. I'm not sure how they would get the space. Pretty sure they could um, find, figure stuff out. I'd really have to see a map and see where they could put it or Google, like Google Maps. And but yeah, Holiday World being at Minver would be really good. There's so many trees in the park, and that would be such a good coaster to look at. Be very pretty. It, well, I hope the color scheme would be good, which uh, I'm not really sure. I think maybe blue and green, those two colors would work good going through there, maybe. I don't really know, um, but... Yeah, even though I'm not a huge fan of inverted coasters, I think this would fit well in the park, and it would be good for most people. I don't want to think just myself. So, Canada's Wonderland, RMC, Wild Beast. This one, even though this is, this is what I want to see go to the park, and this is what I think would be best for the park, it would give them that really good standout coaster. I think Behemoth is standout. Uh, but this would be really famous. It would be a uh, top coaster in the world. And um, it would be a sucky coaster to a great coaster. So 
that's my list. Thank you so much for watching. See you later.